What's up everybody, BD Cool 213 here and welcome to my Let's Play for Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Alright, here we go. Let's get this started. So yeah, this uh for those of you that don't know, this collection actually has three of the original Spyro the Dragon games that came out on the PlayStation. So yeah, I'm gonna be playing all three of them. And uh yeah, you know, I actually I've never played through Oh nice, they got the original Activision logo. I think they did the same thing for Crash 2, I believe. The Crash uh Ensign trilogy. But, uh, yeah, anyways, um, I never played through any of the Spyro games, like the full versions. I did play a demo of the original Spyro the Dragon a lot, and I really wanted that game so bad. But, you know, back then I wasn't able to buy, like, as many games as I am, am able to buy to now. But, man, I really love that demo of uh, the original Spyro the Dragon. Actually, it was, like, on a Pizza Hut demo disc that I got back in the day. Yeah, love that demo. But now I'm finally going to get a chance to play the game, even though it's not the original version, but... It should be the same, I mean, but, well, obviously it's going to look better, of course. All right, accept license agreement. Oh, right. Yeah, I think we have to do the same thing on the uh, Insane Trilogy. That's as fast as we can go. There's no way to skip all the way down. Oh, I guess not. All right. All right, there we go. Start that up. And let's pick number one. And, of course, we're going to start with the first game, Spyro the Dragon. Then after that, I'm going to move on to uh, Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage and Spyro Year of the Dragon after that. All right, here we go. In the world of dragons. <laughs> ah, man, I've been waiting for this game. Now I'm finally going to get a chance to play it. But even though eventually I, I, I do want to play the original PlayStation 1 version as well. Okay, rolling. Uh, oh, uh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds. Or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age, we now have 12,000 treasure. Or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganok character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he's ugly. Ugly? That does it! Looks like I've got some things to do. <laughs> Wait, is this how the original game started? Yeah, like I said, I never played the full version of the original Spyro the Dragon, just the demo. Uh, okay, yeah, this looks familiar, but it looks nicer. <laughs> yeah, the demo, I guess the demo was the like the very first area of this game. Actually, really quick, let me check the options. Um, notice there weren't any subtitles, and actually, I wonder if there even is an option for subtitles. Passive. Uh, passive? Is that like it automatically moves or something? Not entirely sure. Oh, that's right. We can switch between the original soundtrack and the reignited soundtrack. So, yeah, like I said, since I'm going to be playing the original games one day, the original PS1 versions, I guess I'll leave it on reignited. And we'll save the original soundtrack for when I, you know, when I do play that version. All right, because, yeah, I actually do have it on PS3. I did buy it from the uh, PlayStation Network. Uh, let me see the controls, actually, because I'm not sure. Not sure what the controls are. R roll left, roll right. Pull camera behind, flame attack. Okay, yeah, this actually does look familiar. Yeah, the charge attack, too. Yeah, I think the controls are pretty much the same like how they were on the PlayStation 1. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What was uh, point to treasure? Uh, maybe except for you know what actually when I had a PS1 I didn't have the uh, the original DualShock I just had a, I just had a regular controller without the DualShock so or the uh, analog sticks I mean so yeah actually I never had that controller at all for the PlayStation for the original PlayStation uh, okay well I hope I remember all this <laughs> that's weird there's no subtitle options hmm. all right Nestor. Or Nestor. 
thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Oh, that's pretty weird that there's no subtitles in this. Oh, and I... Actually, I think uh, Insane Trilogy was the same as well, I believe. Oh, whoops. Flame attack. Oh, man. I gotta say, this actually looks really nice. <laughs> this looks really good. It's too bad it's not 60 frames, but... Eh, it's not bad. Not too bad. But I gotta say, God, this looks really nice. Man. From what I remember, the uh, original PS1 version looking, I mean, even then, this looks nice anyway. Yeah, just like the character model of Spyro looks pretty good. Alright, save this guy here. Delvin. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him! Keep your horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Uh... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. Yeah, isn't that our our health basically? I think a little dragon flight. Mm, I don't remember this from the demo. Hi, Spyro. Are you play dragon? Oh, yeah. I don't think that little fairy was in the demo. All right, that's pretty weird. There is no subtitle option, is there? Huh? Like skill points. Hmm. Okay, I wonder if these were in the original versions. Art gallery? <sighs> Man. Yeah, I never got around to playing the... Uh, well, once I bought them on the PS3, because I I bought the digital versions on... Uh, well, for 1, 2, and 3 on the PlayStation Network on the PS3. But I actually never played them. Yeah. I guess because I wanted to save them for doing a Let's Play eventually. But yeah, like I said, I will. You know, eventually I will play those versions one day. Same with Crash Bandicoot. Uh... I'll die if I go in the water, right? Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> or I'll get hurt. But yeah, the, the little uh, dragonfly turned blue. Okay, so yeah, that, that's my health indicator, I guess, right? And I, I guess once it's gone, then I have one hit left, I'm assuming. I think that's how it works, from what I can remember. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it... Actually, I think I heard this game doesn't have a... Or the original version of this game didn't have a dual shock support, I think. But yeah, I didn't really have that controller when I had a PlayStation. Well, the original PlayStation. Uh, what are you? What is this? Oh, one up. Okay. Uh, let me see. I wonder if we have to collect these uh, gems for unlocking levels. All right. Well, I guess we'll do a level here. Yeah, because I think eventually we're going to run into some doors that are going to be locked. But I think we have to collect those to unlock them or something like that. Oh, we can move around? Huh. Yeah, I wonder if that was possible in the original one. Yeah, because it's kind of similar the way you go into a level from the original game. Okay, yeah, that music does sound familiar. Yeah. But obviously, well, I mean, it sounds familiar, but different. Oh, God, how do we get behind this guy? Oh, there we go, there we go. That's how he gets, yeah, that's how he gets more help. I mean, I just have to tackle him. Oh, whoops. I mean, I gotta try to hit him. Hold on a second. Need another dragonfly. There we go. Yeah, I remember this place. Yeah, the demo didn't really have all the levels unlocked, but I know this was one of them that you can play. Oh, wow. Did I ever actually get that? <laughs> oh, whoops. Alright, hold on a second. Wait, there was a guy down here. Yep, there he is. I wonder if I should play this with a D... Wait. Oh, no, I can't get any more. Shouldn't have killed that frog. No, wait, wait! <laughs> Damn. I'm trying to save that just in case if I take another hit again. Alright, let's see if we can get this big guy. Oh, that ain't gonna work. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, let me see. Maybe I should try hitting him with fire or something. Wait. 
You know what? I'm gonna stick with the D-pad right now. Alvin. Or Alban. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Their metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Yeah, I kind of figured that out. Yep. Could you have shown up at the... Okay, wait, what? Why does it do that? Hi, Spyro. Yeah, like it shoots me with something from its wand, but... I actually thought I was going to regain health, but I didn't. Oh, I wish it could have given me a hint from this big guy. Oh, that didn't work. Ah, oh, crap. I do remember. Oh, I just have to keep hitting him. Okay, I actually thought that wasn't hurting him, too. All right, hold on a second. I need some frogs. I think two of them should do it, right? Oh, okay. We're good to go. All right, so I guess there's got to be a key that we have to find here. The key's somewhere around here. Oh, my God. All right, we've got two of them. Let's get this last one. Oh, what the hell? Jeez. Thought it would have been safe. Wait, what the hell? He went down in one hit. Okay, but yeah, I should do that roll attack. That actually did help me there from dodging the uh, the hammer. Or not the hammer, but the... Uh, ah, whatever you want to call that thing. Oh, wait. What happens if I light these up? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Thought something would happen. Hey, how do we get up there to get that? How do we get up there? Or maybe I just gotta jump from up there, perhaps? Uh, wait, hold on a second. The camera is moving kind of fast. Wait! Hmm, let me turn that on. Wait, what is passive and active? Oh, wow! A map! <laughs> was that in the original? Or maybe it wasn't in a demo? Actually, wait, did that actually slow it down a bit? The, the movement? No, it's the same thing. Yeah, I think maybe passive has got to be like automatic, like it'll automatically go behind me or something. Maybe? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, but actually I think I remember that being an option in the demo as well for this. Well, for the PS1 version of this game. Alright, hold up. I see a chest over here. Let me get that. And this too. Alright. Alright. Actually, I think I saw a little area back here. Yeah, let's see what we got down here. Oh my god. Get him in the behind. Okay. Alright. I don't know, sometimes I feel like when I hit these big guys, I feel like I'm not doing any damage to them because they don't like... They don't like flinch. There's not like a little sound that I hear. Well, let's see, let's see. Oh, well, I kind of heard a sound, but it didn't feel like a sound like if it was hurting him, but... I guess that's the sound that I gotta keep, uh, or I gotta listen to, I guess. Psst. Spyro, wanna know a secret? Use the action button when you wanna zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. The action button. Yeah, what, what is... Is that like a checkpoint or something whenever she hits me with that? Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, there's a key. Now we can open up that big chest at the beginning. Man, you know what? I kind of wish I would have played the original versions because, you know... God, it's been, it's been a couple years since I played that demo. The original Spyro demo. And actually, now that I remember, I did play a demo of two as well. Of uh, Ripto's Rage, but... I mostly played the original demo, like, a lot, compared to that one. But I don't know, I kind of remember, like, in the second one, there was, like, a lava area that we were in in the demo. But that's about it. That's about all I can remember. Alright, let's see. Alrighty. And what does this open? Or what does this unlock? Oh, just that? Oh. It's home for something bigger. <laughs> something better, I guess, but... Eh. Oh wait, actually, hold on. We have to collect the- Oh, we have to collect a hundred of them. 
Oh, okay, I see. And there's one more dragon that I need to find. Artisans, there's two more dragons. Okay. Got it, got it. Alright. Well, let's keep looking, I guess. Alright, we got a... Well, how many big guys here? Like, two of them? Yeah, two big guys. Okay. There we go, what the hell? I guess that first big guy that I fought, I must have missed him or something. That's the second one that went down in like one hit. Oh god. Oh nice! There we go. Okay. Oh, we're almost at 100. Oh, let's get that dragon over here too. Darius, or Darius. Big enemies like this Nork with the club cannot be charged. But a quick flame, that should defeat them. Alrighty. Now I just gotta find all the gems. I think this might be the last ones, right? Yep. We are good to go. Alright, that confirms it. <laughs> Let's get out of here. But yeah, I definitely remember this area from the demo. I just didn't remember that underground area that much. But... I guess it must have been in the demo, so I'm sure I did go through there. But like I said, it's been a long time since I played that demo. Alright. There we go, that's better. I wonder if there was a map option in the original game. I mean, if there was, maybe it wasn't in the, in the demo. Okay, so... Oh, got some sheep. Nope. <laughs> Damn, keep pressing the wrong button, so... Alright, so we went that way. And there's a stage right here, too. Stone Hill. Let's check this out. So yeah, this game's on a uh, PS4. I'm playing it on the PS4 Pro, but it's also on Xbox One. But I don't think it's on PC though. PC or Switch. But um, I think, well, I think for the original Crash Insane trilogy, I think, well, it, it did take a while for it to come out on Switch, and I think eventually it came out on PC, if I'm not mistaken. Or it did come out on PC, but I don't think it came around or out around the same time that it launched on uh, on PS4 and Xbox, I believe. So, yeah, I wonder if this will eventually come out to Switch and PC, maybe. All right, what do we got here? Let's see. So we got four dragons and an egg. Hmm, egg and 200 gems. All right. This might have been another level from the demo too. Actually, I think it, I think it is. Okay, I'm gonna take out that big guy. Yeah, I think I remember this. I think we can actually go up there too. Up above. Oh crap. Oh, jeez. Don't hurt me. <laughs> Still trying to get used to these controls. Alright, so we don't need to get the little sheep. We'll just save them. Save them for health, because I don't think they give me uh, treasures, right? Oh, well, these guys do. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> oh man. Yo, I just remember there was like a commercial. I can't remember for which which one of the Spyro games, but uh it it had to do with like a sheep that was like all, all burned up and beat up. Yeah, oh whoops. Damn it. But yeah, I don't remember from I don't remember if it was from this one or from one of the later games. I know it was one of the PS1 games, but don't recall which one it was. Uh okay, we need a key for this. Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. Okay, so he's eating butterflies. But yeah, I think that that's our health, basically, right? Yeah, so if it's gone, then I'm like one hit away from dying, I guess. I'm assuming. Alright. You know, now that I think about it, I think when I played this in the demo, this stage, I don't think I ever got everything here. Yeah, because I don't remember getting an egg. Oh, wait! Wait, is this the same one that we saw down there? Oh, I'm gonna have to go back and check. I thought we needed, like, a key or something. I thought it was, like, that other one in the uh, previous level. Alright, I'm gonna go back and get it in a second. Lindar. 
When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. So it doesn't autosave? So is that what she's doing? To save my progress then. Okay. I guess I don't have to stand on it. Yeah, I guess she does it for me. Alright, so yeah, let me go back down here and check, I guess. No, no, this is a different one. Okay, yeah. This one has a lock. Alright, that's what I thought. So I gotta find a key. Okay, let's see. So we went this way, right? Okay, that's... Yeah, we're there already. So let's go... Yeah, I guess we'll just work our way around. See what we can find. <laughs> man. Oh my god, man. I gotta get used to these controls. I keep pressing the wrong button and I keep doing the roll when I want to breathe fire. Ah, so far not too bad. Oh. The return home thing is here. After you've freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya! <laughs> I think I remember that. I think he said the same thing in the original version. <laughs> Sounds familiar. No thanks. See ya! Uh, oh, we yeah, we could go down here. Okay. Huh. Did I ever do that? Alright, hold up. There's gotta be something over here. Yes, there is. There's a key, but... Would that be the same key for the chest that we saw? It's a gold key. Well, I'll check anyway. Maybe it is. Alright, let's see. Okay, so I want to remember where I was at. Because I'm going to continue uh, going down that way, I guess. Alright, is this it? Oh, it is. Okay. Give me that treasure. Okay, I better not miss one. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't mean to leave it. I want to make sure that I got everything. Alright, yeah, and I know there's a way to go up there, up above, because I, I remember that. I remember doing that in the demo. Oh, there's another big area. What is that? Sounds like there's something up there. Up oh, there I go again. <laughs> Pressing the wrong button. We can also breathe fire with circle, right? Yeah, circle too. Uh, I guess it feels better pressing uh, R2. That's what I'm pressing is R2. Gandalf! I forgot he was in the game too. Nope. Alright. Oh, is this another one or is this... Oh, it's just a normal one. Oh, damn it! Freaking Gandalf? God, man. Oh, now I need a, a lamb. Or, or sheep, I mean. Get over here. I think one is good enough. I need to get the little butterfly. Okay, so I... Alright, so I came in through here. I got everything here already? Oh. Well, not everything. I think I saw a chest up here, right? Oh, and another dragon. Spyro, my friend. How about a hint on gliding? You bet! For the longest glide, press the jump button at the top of your jump, and try pressing the action button to drop down mid-flight. Oh, really? Oh, okay, yeah, I think I remember that tip. Yeah. Actually, I remember... I wonder if that's how the dragons looked like in the original game, like that the same like the same design, you know. I don't recall. Okay, here we go. Oh! I forgot you could do that too if you hold back. Kinda like slow down a bit. Alright, so let's see if I can actually manage to get everything here. Oh, visible wall. Okay, that's what I thought. I was wondering what these things were for. Okay, let's see if we can find out. Oh! Yep, I see what was laughing. Yeah, because I heard a little thing laughing back there when we were uh, coming into this area. I think that's what it is. 
I just wonder if I can destroy it. Oh, it has the egg! Oh, wait a minute, I remember this guy! Okay, yeah! I just don't remember it had an egg. And was I ever able to catch it back in the day? <laughs> this guy's kind of fast. Ugh. Oh, I can't even press R2 to breathe fire. I'm catching up to him, though. Oh, man. Is there a trick to this? Oh, there we go. Mm, okay. We got an egg from him. All right. Yeah, I just remember the... Yeah, that little guy. I remember him. I still remember him having an egg. All right. Well, we got the egg. We got all the dragons. All we, all we need is the, uh, the treasures now. And we'll be good to go. Gotta make sure I don't miss a. Oh, one of these up here. Really? That's it? Oh, here we go. Alright, hold on a second. There's some more, some more gems over here. Okay, now we're back in the main area. Well, where we started at least. Alright, hold up. Just gotta make sure I don't miss a chest here. Chests are gems. Oh, I see some more gems. Wait, I cannot... Can I not get up here? Oh, maybe not. No, I guess not. I don't think I saw anything up there. Wait, let me try this way. Oh. Uh, no, I guess you can't. Yeah, I guess you can't get up there. Alright. So hold up. Saw some gems over here. Where are they at? Ah, oh, here we go. Oh my god, I only need one more. Are you kidding me? <gasps> oh no. Where is it at? <laughs> Damn! Oh, there it is. Okay, good. I was like, oh, here we go. This is probably as far as I got into the demo. Alright, we got 200. Sweet. I don't know. Maybe I actually might have managed to find all of the gems and dragons in the demo for this place, but... I can't remember. <laughs> Yeah, you know what, I th and I think I still have that pizza demo disc. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, the pizza demo disc that had this, the demo of this game. Uh, I think it also had Metal Gear Solid, Gran Turismo, either 1 or 2, uh, Final Fantasy 8, and Crash 3, or Crash Warped, I guess. Yeah. Ah, man, demo discs. Those were the days. All right. Done with Stone Hill. Uh, let's check out over here. Let's see what we got down here. Oh, another dragon. Tomas! Hey, Spyro. Press the jump button twice to glide. And, and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. Yeah, you know what? I wonder if they did change the design of the dragons. Yeah. I mean, Spyro looks the same like how he did on PS1. Well, better looking, I guess. <laughs> but the design is the same. Alright. Yeah, I guess I'll have to check on that when I play the original game ev eventually on the PS1. Uh, let's see if I can reach this. Nope. No, I can't. Not from here, at least. Should I be hitting him with fire, or should I just tackle him? Or does it not matter? Alright, how many how many gems do we have here? Oh, 48 out of 100. Okay, we're missing one more dragon somewhere. Alright, we're more than halfway done. Okay, let's check out this spot over here. Actually, I'm going to grab the chest first, or break the chest open. Oh, let me grab that too. I don't know why I feel like the red gems should be. Uh, I don't. Know, I feel like they give you. They should give you more than one instead of the. Uh, I don't know the green ones. Yeah, the green ones give you what two? I think. All right. Oh, and I gotta get that one too. All right. Let's see. Oh no! No wait! Wait! Oh whoops! Ah, oh, I forgot about the tip. I should have pressed triangle. <laughs> Yeah, triangle is the action button, so that would have uh, stopped me in midair. Alright, I guess I'll do it right this time. See, that's what you don't want to do, guys. You don't want to do that. Alright, I'm going to have to take that little 
Vortex thing again. Alright, Town Square. Now let's see if I remember this. This might have been in the demo as well. Actually, I kind of wonder how long this game is. Yeah. Like, I wonder if this is going to be like a short game. Well, I mean, there's three games, so I got, you know, sure there's going to be plenty of time for all of them, but just this game alone, I wonder how long it is. Uh, don't remember. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think this was in the demo. All right, what do we got here? 200, four dragons, and a dragon egg. Yeah, maybe this level wasn't in the demo. This doesn't look familiar. So this might be new to me. Nils! Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the right stick to get a good look. Yeah, I noticed the bulls. Yeah, man. So, can I take him out with fire, or should I tackle him? Well, I guess we'll find out right now. Oh, if I can get up there. Or should I just go up here instead? Oh, actually, no. I don't think I'll be able to reach up there. Alright, I guess I gotta go this way, then. Here we go. Okay, fireworks. Yep, works pretty well. Alright. But yeah, I need to keep an eye out for uh, any hidden little things. Oh, what is this? The hell? Okay, yeah, yeah, this wasn't in a demo. I don't remember that. I definitely don't remember that. All right. Uh, oh, there's another dragon here, and there's some chests up here too. But I guess I got to get up there from another way. Yeah, so far this game is a piece of cake. <laughs> oh! Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I would have made it out of that. Nope. I almost jinxed myself there. Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I had the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? I did. Another dragon told me that, yeah. Are you serious? What the hell? <laughs> okay, yeah, I definitely... Oh, there's that guy again. That thing. Yeah, I definitely don't remember this at all. Nope. So this wasn't in the demo. But actually, I think I do remember that area, though, that we, uh... You know, where we got into this level. Uh, I think I do remember that being in the demo, but I guess... We just couldn't access this place. And I don't remember the chickens, either. Alright. So far, so good. Alright, let's see if I can get this thing up here. Oh, no, I probably won't be able to right now. Yeah, I don't think I can reach this. Nope. Unless, maybe. Maybe if I glide? Uh, oh, come on, really? Wait, let me try that again. Hold on. Maybe there's a chance. Well, actually, let me try it from here. I don't think this work. Oh, same thing. Okay, hold on. Let me try it from here. Try it one more time. I'll do it from the tip. Oh, there we go, baby. Nice. Okay. Oh, this guy is going to be a pain if he's going to start running away. Let me grab that. Oh, don't make me fall off the cliff or something. Oh! No! What? Where'd he go? Oh, he's down here now. No! I are you serious? Oh, oh, come on! <laughs> I hate that thing. All right, well, it's all good. At least we know we could get up there. Okay, just gotta watch out about that little spot back there. Yeah, don't want to fall in there. I don't think Spyro likes taking baths. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, whoops! I've been a little too high. Oh, there we go. Nice. All right. Let's go. Let's get him this time. Got to be a trick to catch it up to this guy. Oh. Oh! Come on. 
You know what? Maybe I should get this out of the way here. Hope I can reach this. There we go. I'll try to see if I can catch him. Yeah, hopefully I can catch him before he goes back up again. Okay, wait. That's where we started. I swear to God, I better get him. I better get him as he goes up. Oh, and there's some chests up there, too. Oh, wait, let me get those. I can go back and get that. Yeah, because I don't want to come back up here again. Well, let me just make sure that I got everything in this section here. Alright. Okay, I think we're good. Now I just gotta get this little blue guy here. Making fun of me. Alright, come on. Gotcha! Nice! Oh, I'm glad that worked. Sweet. Alright, cool. Alright, now we can continue on. And what are we at right now? 125 out of 200, so 75 more to go. And two more dragons. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot to explore left. There's another dragon. Well, looking for looking at the map, I mean. But yeah, I don't know if there's gonna be like an underground place or something. Uh, okay, well, we're here already. There's the other dragon. Well, the other two dragons. Wait, how do I get up there? Hmm. Spyro, do you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief. And he's stolen a dragon egg! You've got to track him down and, and get that egg! Run! Run! <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. I already taken care of that, buddy. Yep. That guy in blue. Ah, uh, okay, wait a minute. So... Huh. Is there another spot? Maybe I had to do it from up there where I was chasing that blue guy? I think. Yeah, let me go back. I guess I have to go back there again. Maybe I might have to glide or something to get up there. Uh, damn! <laughs> I don't know, I feel like it was kind of far away to reach that spot, though, but uh, maybe I could be wrong. Alright, there we go. Damn, and I keep switching back and forth between the D-pad and the analog stick. Yeah, maybe I should stick with the D-pad, just like how I did in Crash Sensei Trilogy. Feels more natural. Uh, yeah, let's see. I don't know, I feel like it was too far, but I could be wrong. Oh, no, maybe I could, yeah, I could probably reach that. Yeah, this looks, yeah, not that far. Alright. Now, let me get him out of the way. Oh, wrong button again! Oh, wow. Oh, that one gives you ten. And what is this? Okay. Alright, I hope we get a, oh, there we go. I was gonna say, I hope we get two hundred here. Oh, Thor, nice. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. You can always check your progress by accessing the guidebook through the pause menu. I didn't know this was, uh, I don't know if Spyro was part of the MCU. Or just Marvel, I guess. But he is. Alright, we are good to go. So let me check the guidebook, just like you said. Oh, it's the same thing. Okay, I, I can just press the uh, the touchpad on the controller. It'll bring me here right away. Okay. It's Artisan's World. Skill points. Do we have any skill points? Oh, wait. All bullstuck. Oh, that's a... Oh, wow. I probably should have looked at that. <laughs> before. Well, before doing the first level, I guess. Peacekeepers? I'm assuming Peacekeepers is probably the next location. Scare six Norse? Norse? It's a tense. Hmm. Yeah, because we did Artisans. Well, Artisans... Artisans is the main hub, I think, right? Stonehill, we did that. Burn the Hidden Pink Tulip. Huh. Okay. Alright, yeah, let's go ahead and get out of here. We're pretty much good to go with this place. I guess the skill points, do we use those for the uh, art gallery, I think, or something? Wait, I'm going to check again. Yeah, okay, so returning to artisans, yeah. So we're going back to the main hub. Okay. So, artisans, it said reach tricky platform. 
No idea. Collect okay, collect skill points to unlock parts one and two of the gal or the art gallery. Okay, so that's what it's for. Peacekeepers. Is that the name of a level? Peacekeepers? That's a pretty weird name. Okay, what tricky platform could it be talking about? I, mean, I would like to try to get it if I knew exactly what tricky pl platform it was talking about. But I have no idea where. I mean, is it somewhere in here? In this area? Not sure. Uh, gonna be up here. I mean, this doesn't seem too tricky. Oh, there's a little tulip right here. But it's not the one. <laughs> We're not on the right level. That was it? Really? That wasn't that tricky. That was a piece of cake. Actually, I think I even got to that platform in the original. Well, in the demo. Okay, well, there you go. Skill point unlocked, but how many do we need to unlock? Uh... Oh, it just says collect skill points, but it doesn't say exactly how many we need. Or maybe we need to get all from page one and page two for parts one and two, perhaps? I mean, that's what it is. Okay, well, that's that. All right, I guess this area is next over here. What's up, big guy? How you doing? Uh, wait a minute. What is this? Should I be coming here? Oh, uh, what I get the feeling this might be like a boss thing, maybe. Wow! I see you've been busy rescuing dragons, Spyro. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world if you like. Oh. Oh. Um... Not yet. Are you ready to go? No. No, not yet. Okay, that's the next area then. Alright, so I guess... Yeah, we'll save that for later. I want to take care of everything here first. But... Wait. What else are we missing? We're missing one dragon still. Uh, wait a second. Where haven't I gone yet? Oh! Here we go. Up, and there he is. And uh, what is that? Oh, I guess we're about to find out. Cool flash. Do that again. The artisan's <laughs> boss is through a portal behind me. You can challenge him now if you feel you are ready. All right. There we go. All dragons found here. And now I got to get the treasures, which I hope we get here because I think we pretty much explored everything else. And there it goes. Nice. And what does it say? Toasty, I think. Oh, yeah. Toasty. Okay, so wait, is there a skill point for that? Uh, no? I wonder if this is Dr. Shemp one. Yeah, because Peacekeepers, I guess, is the next area. Yeah, where we have to go talk to Marco or whatever. Uh, okay. Uh, there's nothing here that says Toasty, so maybe... Uh, maybe there's no skill point for this. Alright, cool. Well, let's go ahead and do this. Let's see what this is going to be. Yeah, guys, this game looks really good. Like, playing it, seeing it in person, not in videos, it looks really nice. Yeah. Oh. I thought it was a... I actually thought it was a boss level. Or maybe once we get to the end, it'll be a boss. Yeah. All right, what do we got here? Oh, just one dragon. One dragon and 100 uh, gems or treasures. Okay. Oh, dog? Oh. Oh, crap! Ah! I was going to say, we don't have to kill the dog, do we? Oh, what? Whoa! Okay, he takes more than one hit. Compared to Gandalf. Jeez. Holy crap, alright. I guess we'll have to take out the doggies. That's a lot of dogs, dude. Oh, man. Would tackling work better? Oh! Oh, this is not good. Let's try to tackle. Nope, that doesn't work at all. Nope, nope, bad idea. Bad idea. Down, boy. Woo. Man. Oh, I hope there's some, some sheep around. Oh, my God. I sent Gandalf flying. <laughs> Holy crap. 
Alright, at least we can shoot our fire right away and hit him again. Damn! Yeah, the dragonfly is gone now. Oh, man. Okay, so yeah, I guess technically I'm one hit away from dying. Oh, man, I'm so dead. Okay, just gotta be quick with that fire. If I am, then I'll get him. Ah! Oh, there you go. I died. <laughs> Alright, but it ain't over yet. Wait, what did that say? Oh. I don't know what it said. The game loaded too fast. Alright, at least now I know about these dogs. And here we go again. I just, I did it again. Oh my god, please tell me there's going to be some sheep around here. I need some health. Oh, I missed? How did I miss? Oh man. Guess I must have moved a little bit. Alright, I shouldn't have moved when I breathe fire. There we go. Wait, what is... What is that? I guess since we already defeated these enemies, I guess we're getting something else, but... That's weird. It's adding, like, these little orbs next to my, uh, my life. Maybe if I get a certain number of them, maybe I'll get, like, a one-up or something? Oh, crap. Oh, no! Oh, you know what I should try is rolling when... Well, if I miss... Yeah, I should try... I should try rolling. Yeah. Freaking Gandalf killed me last time. God. Can't believe he actually got me. Yeah, like that! Whoa! Yeah, that's what I should do. I gotta remember I have that rolling move. Yeah, so I can get out of the way. Alright. There's a dragon. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on! I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. Toasty has many tricks up his sleeve. Oh, so the boss is named Toasty. Okay, I thought it was just the name of this level. Alright, hold up. There's like a little area back here. Yeah, I want to get all the treasures, of course. I want to try to... Oh, my God! No, this is not a good spot to roll, bro. Oh, dude. Not again. Ah. Alright, Gandalf the Grey. Don't hit me. Man. Alright, jeez. Haha, <laughs> crap! I want it away from dying again. Ugh. Oh, seriously hope we get some health here. Or you! Give me some health! No! <laughs> I don't need that! Oh, no. Wait. Is this the boss? There's still more, though. Another area. Holy crap, dude. Oh, this is not good. Wait. It's sheep. What? What the hell? Oh, I... Are you kidding me? Oh, I thought I killed that dog. I thought I killed that dog. This just sounds wrong saying that. <laughs> Alright, at least start from here. Damn, that didn't work. My roll didn't work, I mean. Oh! I just realized if I keep holding the button down, I can keep rolling. Okay. Well, I should try that next time. Oh, that ain't no sheep. Nope. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's what I should do. Just keep rolling. Keep rolling. Like Fred Durst once said. What the hell? Okay, hold up. Hold up. I make sure that I'm good to go before I go in there. That's like the final area, or close to it. Woo! Oh! Oh, God. Oh, I was gonna say 96. No, we're not done yet. <laughs> Wait, that was it? Huh. Okay. Man, I got destroyed there. 
Holy crap. All right, at least I know now. I could keep rolling. Well, if I see those dogs again, I should definitely roll after hitting them once with fire. Yeah, and you can hold the button down and you can just keep rolling as well. All right, but I think we're good to go with this place, right? We got everything? Yep, 100%. Got all the dragons. We're at 14% at the moment. All right, oh, we get a little sheep here. And I think we should be good to go. All right, now let's go ahead and head on over to the next area. Okay, so I guess once I collect, like, uh, or once I fill up that, uh, well, the one-up with those little orbs that we're collecting, I guess we get a one-up, I'm assuming. Yeah, I guess we're getting those because we already defeated them once to get, like, uh, treasures from them, I guess, or gems. Wow! I see you've been busy rescuing dragons. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world if you like. Are you ready to go? Uh, let's do it! And I guess he's not coming along. Damn, we got 700. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how many worlds this place, or this game has, I mean. Yeah, so we pretty much got everything of the first area completed. So that put us at, what was it, 14%? So yeah, I'm wondering how many worlds there are going to be. And I wonder if this, this area that we're going into, I wonder if it's going to be bigger than the first area. Okay. Well, looking at the map, yeah, that top part looks kind of weird, but yeah, I wonder what that's going to be like. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And guys, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, then, everyone. Take it easy.